Maria Toro starts by taunting Tyler Texas from outside the ring. And the Naughty Girls eliminate the Rowdy Cowgirl. Now Naughty Girl Faith has come ringside. Is school out already? The Troublemaker is now working on the country girl's arm. She sends her into the ropes, hoping for a backdrop, but no! Cassie catches her into a sunset flip! The country cutie gets the win, and the Minneapolis fans are crazy for Cassie! The farm girl reaps the victory! Now Juby Hall complains to Naughty Girl Faith. The schoolgirl hits the ring and attacks Cassie. She's putting the boots to her. But wait, here comes Tyler, Texas. Ah, of course, the naughty girl bails. Faith knew if she stuck around, she would be taught a lesson. It's a match that's been building for weeks, and tonight it will be settled in a grudge match. Naughty girl Faith must step into the ring with Tyler, Texas. That's tonight's Takedown Main Event. Hey, it's Takedown Time, baby! You gotta keep us separated. Fanatic. Okay, this is the last time I'm telling you this. How do you know if you're a wrestling fanatic? If you start a USA chant whenever you walk into a Chinese restaurant. I think I might be. USA, USA. Oh USA, my gosh. Takedown will be right back. Wrestlelicious Takedown is brought to you by the Horny Goat Brewing Company. <laughs> that. What we got there is this? Cupcakes, of course, because they're oh so yummy and oh so delicious. That's because we're Resolicious! You're late again. Sir, it's difficult being a superhero these days. You know, they rooted me off to Dallas, and then they rooted me off to Houston. And then I had to fight planes left and right, one by one. Okay, forget it. You know what? You're excused. Okay. <laughs> Not a bird, she's not a plane, and the only way she flies is as cargo. It's Masked Millie. Fans take down is on tour in Minneapolis, and we've turned over our ring to some of the local talent. The superhero wannabe claims to be faster than a speeding bullet. Yeah, when dinner is served. She's squaring off against the hometown home wrecker. Jezebel, who swears she has Tiger Woods and Jesse James on speed dial. And Mask Millie, the master of 1,000 rolls, is ready to take flight. Now Jezebel is um, flexing. The First Avenue nightclub really appreciates their hometown girls. The dim lighting probably helps. Talk about a dark match. Jezebel is ready to go, and she's claiming she's got a six-pack. <laughs> and it looks like she drank it right before the match. They lock up, and Masked Millie drops her foe. Now she's posing in case a random comic book artist is in the house. Masked Millie believes she is a superhero through and through. Instead of the dressing room, she changes clothes in a phone booth. You know, I did that once, but I got arrested. Jezebel keeps adjusting her top 
So far, that's been her best move. We've got a big grudge match coming up. Naughty Girl Faith goes against the rowdy cowgirl, Tyler, Texas. You won't want to miss that one. And Millie sends Jezebel flying, using her girth for all it's worth. Jezebel has been unable to budge the comic book character. She's the incredible bolt. Masked Millie is setting her up for something and trying the egg on the crowd. Oh, an open-handed smash across the chest. She got the home wrecker right in her personality. Whoa, she crashes into Jezebel. Now that was more powerful than a locomotive. The home wrecker hasn't been this abused since Sandra Bullock came home early. Now Millie hauls her up and dumps her upside down in the corner. Jezebel is usually on a pole when she is in this position. The masked one chokes her with that big boot. She's really turned up the aggression factor. Oh no, it's the tree of woe. The hero is making the brunette pay for her transgressions. The home wrecker is being wrecked herself. The masked crusader sets again. She slides in and gives her an eye poke. Shades of the Three Stooges. The wannabe hero has rolled roughshod over the man stealer. Jezebel must be thinking about another line of work right now. A snapmare. That's the first legitimate hold we've seen all match from these local girls. Masked Millie hits the ropes and lands on her foe's knees. She goes for the pin, but the man stealer squirms free. The hero was ready to take flight, but her departure has been delayed. The crowd is chanting, steamroller. Is that a hold or Millie's build? She sets an Irish whip. Oh, and a clothesline nails the brunette. At least the home wrecker is more comfortable. She is used to winding up in this position. Masked Millie pulls her up into a fireman's carry. Jezebel is struggling to break free. Shades of John Cena. It's the attitude adjustment. The comic book crusader plants her foot on her victim for the pin. And the masked one wins this battle of local talent, leaving the home record down and dirty. Masked Millie surveys the crowd, perhaps looking for more evildoers. Is there a moral to this story? Yep. It's never mess with anyone wearing a mask who changes clothes in a public phone booth. We're coming back with a real Wrestlelicious match. It's Naughty Girl Faith and the Cowgirl Tyler, Texas. At least they use dressing rooms. I should know, I was kicked out of both of theirs earlier. The slam, yo, this is how I roll. In the ring, I step up and I take control. When I beat you down, then you know who this is. Cut little slam is resolution. It's time to play the country's favorite game show. Are you smarter than a male wrestler? Now, here's your host, Jimmy Hart. Bonus question for Greg the Hammer Valentine. All right. All right. What are you going to receive in the mail on February the 14th? I got it. I got it. Good, good. Uh, a restraining order. Oh, no, sorry, Greg. That's what? Nice. All right, little Sam, same question for you. What are you going to receive in the mail on February the 14th? That would be a Valentine, and don't forget the bling, baby, all right? <laughs> Valentine, that sounds yes. familiar, too. Well, it looks like we've got a winner. It's Little Slam, and you're definitely smarter than a male wrestler. We'll see you people out here next week. <laughs> Takedown will be right back. So what brings you here today, Rhonda? Well, Doctor, I think I have the 50s illness. The 50s illness? What's that? Well, the rocking pneumonia and the boogie flu. You're in luck. I've got the perfect cure for that. Well, what is it? Love potion number nine. Mm. Johnny! Johnny! Yes, dear? I want to invite the cannibals for dinner. I don't know. I've heard they're picky eaters. 
No, what? I'm afraid they'll pick me. <laughs> Tyler, you might be a down-home wrestler if you share a locker room with livestock. Cousin Cassie, you might be a down-home wrestler if you attract more flies and fans. <laughs> You know, when it comes to women, I'm not the greatest expert on that. But I know one thing, baby. Two heads are better than one. Go for it. That's what your heart tells you to do? Go for it, man. You're right. Have You're a good right. time tonight. You're right. Hey, call me when you get in, okay? Say, I got a favor, though. Sure. What do you need, baby? Do you mind watching the kids? You know what? I'd love to do it tonight, but let me just tell you what. Kids, come on in. Jake, Jake. Yes. Wait a minute. He said oh, yes. Hey, guys. Jake, wait a minute. Jake. I'll, I'll see you guys later. later. Hey, hey, buddy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Are you hungry? I'm okay. Bathroom. bathroom. Wait a minute. Well, what do you want? I'm uh, what, do I look like the ice cream man? Huh? Jay, please. Wait for my glasses. My cook. Wait a minute, guys. Come here, Jay. You've got to come back, please. Jay, Jay. Oh no. <laughs> Takedown will be right back. Tyler, Texas and her arch rival, Naughty Girl Faith, are featured in today's episode of... Rustalicious Heroines! Tune in next time for more Rustalicious Heroines! First, making her way to the ring from Detention Hall in Boston, Mass, the Naughty Girl Faith! Naughty Girl Faith has been having a tough time since her partner Hope was sent away to boarding school and Faith was already bored with school. It looks like Sister Ophelia and Charity skipped out on her too. She wants Johnny C. Jr. to hold open the ropes for her. Come on, Jr., do the gentlemanly thing. Faith learned etiquette in class. She always says please and thank you when she smacks you. Yeah. And her opponent. From the Lone Star State, Tyler Texas! The Rowdy Cowgirl is strumming and tune humming. She wanted this grudge match after Faith recently attacked her cousin Cassie. The Texan has cousins by the dozens, and she stands up for them all. If the naughty girl isn't careful, she may have a melody played upside her head with that kickbox. Fans, if you like what you see here, log on to restalicious.com to see even more of the takedown talent. The schoolgirl has skipped out and left the ring. Maybe she wants to try out her new phony ID at the bar. Hopefully this big ID is more believable. The last ID belonged to Grandma Nussbaum. The blonde is ready to tan some parochial high. You don't mess with her kinfolk and get away with it. I hate to be in Faith's shoes, or skirt for that matter. The ref signals for the bell, and the student is stalling. 
Tyler tries to rouse the crowd, and the naughty one doesn't want to hear it. She's using the official's hands to cover her ears. That way she can pick his pockets with her hands. The crowd lets him have it. And the schoolgirl takes a timeout. That's a switch. Normally she has to be sent to her corner. Who knows, she may pull out a dunce cap next. The detention darling refuses to wrestle. She knows the cowgirl is itching for a fight and she's trying to throw her off. Faith climbs the corner looking for some support and gets booed for her trouble. The Minneapolis fans know who's naughty and who's nice. Now the blonde shows her how it's done. The fans are firmly on the rodeo gale's side while Faith is beside herself, which helps since she is missing her partner. She climbs the corner again and gets a round of indifference like Lady Gaga at a ball game. The cowgirl is ready to turn the jeers into cheers as she climbs the corner once again. Oh, Faith attacks from behind. It was a setup, and Texas gave her the opening she needed. She pulls her out of the corner. Oh, a vicious knife edge chop. You can hear that all the way back in Tyler, Texas. An Irish whip into the ropes. No, Tyler rides her and takes her down. A big arm drag. Whoa, a drop kick to the kisser. Welcome to singles wrestling, Faith. She takes a powder with no partner to help her. She may have loosened a few teeth from that incredible drop kick. If she didn't need braces before, she may now. The referee is starting to count. The detention darling is trying to clear her head, just like after a basic algebra exam. And the cowgirl tries to pull her into the ring. But Tyler's neck is snapped over the rope. The naughty girl quickly follows up, choking her over the ropes, cutting off her air supply. The official breaks it up, but the damage is done. The schoolgirl is pressing her advantage. She corrals Tyler by the throat again. Oh, a brutal neck breaker. The Texan won't be singing at the hoot nanny after this one. She goes for the pin, oh, but only a two count. The blonde was able to get her shoulder up. Whoa, a drop kick to the back of the neck. What a move. Now she is blatantly choking Tyler in front of the ref. Faith has focused her attack on the Austin native's neck. Talk about getting all choked up. She hauls her up, a hard smash to the back, a slashing kick to the gut. The naughty one doesn't need the schoolyard to be a bully. Now she's taunting her foe. She pulls up the down grappler. Oh, a hard right, and another. Faith is so tough, she hits the nuns with the ruler. She charges the rodeo gale, but the Texan leaps up and over and catches her in a sunset flip. Oh, but only a two count. She catches Tyler with an elbow to the chest. A case of pneumonia would be more welcome right now. A shot to the head hit. The ref warns her about that closed fist. She goes for the pin, but the blonde pushes her off. The naughty girl follows up. She pulls Texas into a surfboard. Well, Faith kinda does look like a surfer girl. That knee is planted firmly in her back. She's hoping for a submission. The cowgirl tries to make it to her feet. She's up, but a quick knee puts her back down. That foot is planted firmly in her back. Tyler's a country girl, but Faith has been doing all of the planting so far. The blonde beauty will not give up. She is determined. You can't put her away so easily, Faith. The rodeo gal makes it to her feet again. She's trying to power out. Look at that muscle definition in her arms and shoulders. You don't get that from cutting class. She grabs a Texan and drops her by her hair. She's majoring in shortcuts 101. Again, she's blatantly choking her foe. This student has been able to gain the upper hand by wrapping it around the Texan's throat. She pulls up the down grappler. Oh, another knife edge chop. Shades of Ricky Steamboat. An Irish whip into the ropes. She ducks that sweeping right. Whoa, they both dropped each other with a handful of hair. Faith is trying to recover, but Tyler may be out. 
The official begins the count. They slowly stir on the canvas. This match has taken a lot out of both of them. Somehow, these two warriors make it to their feet. A right by Faith, and the Texan gives it right back. Another, and yet another. They're exchanging blows that could knock out the entire MMA roster. The Blonde Bomber takes over. Into the ropes, a drop kick to the chest. Faith may be hoping for recess. A cannonball. There's the pin. But the Naughty Girl kicks out at two. The country girl thought she had her. Oh, now a rake of the eyes by Faith. She's displayed her entire illegal arsenal tonight. Oh, a wicked face plant. Is this the end of the trail for the cowgirl? She rolls her up for the pin, but again, Tyler manages to kick out. Her resolve is amazing. The schoolgirl backs up, she's getting set. Oh, and a vicious kick to the head. She punted her like a high school football. Incredible! Texas kicks out again! Call it intestinal fortitude. Call it family pride. She refuses to be beaten. Faith has thrown everything at her but the kitchen sink. But she would have if the dishes were done. Tyler blocks the kick, spins her around, and catches her in a backslide. Tyler, Texas has done it! And Faith can't believe it! She's a cowgirl with the heart as big as Texas. She took everything the schoolgirl threw at her and came out on top. This is what women's wrestling is all about. And nobody brings it to you like Wrestlicious Takedown. And the detention darling hasn't been this shocked since she actually got a C on her report card. Tune in next time to Wrestlicious Takedown. I'll be waiting. Charity there!